Hey, welcome back. This is Wise Monkey. We'll show how to change the inner fender of a vehicle. Any vehicle is same. We're showing you Honda. So, this is the inner fender that got broken at the front right here. See, there's no heat here. Uh, ice chunk and uh, took the fender out. To replace the inner fender right all the way. So, I picked up one. Uh, inner fender you can get it from junkier for 10 bucks or five bucks and or you can buy a brand new one for 40 bucks need some clips fender clips which is uh, retainers uh, some are six millimeter which is a bit smaller and some are eight millimeters but the whole pack from eBay for three bucks three bucks or so it's pretty uh, cheap uh, 100 pieces is same. Need a knife to cut the existing uh, retainers. Uh, Phillips set screwdrivers. There's Phillips. A flat head to basically flat head and a hammer to hammer the existing retainers out. Some of them are tough. You also need a 10 millimeter socket, either 10 or 8, depending on what they use usually. It is right here. We already took this took this one out. It is right at the front bumper right here. You need a, a eight millimeter socket and an eight millimeter wrench to hold it from inside. Sometimes it's rusted. Use WD-40 or other lubricant to loosen it. Okay. Turn the wheel outward so that it can access the screws and then start taking the existing retainers out. Take this mod flap out, take these screws out. Remember there's one screw right under here. So you have to go from the bottom to take that out. Paul Phillips, three, two, one. Okay, there is a eight millimeter screw here. This was the one. So you use the eight millimeter socket to take it out right from here and take these tabs out. I'm going to use the hammer and the screwdriver. So, hammer it out like this. So most of the retainers not going to be reused. They're broken. Better to use brand new ones. When you put it in, lock the top, top first, the retainer, top hole. Then you can go with the others, left and right. So that's it. Put all the uh, retaining clips back on. This uh, one point, this top uh, eight millimeter bolt here this is actually to hold the buffer so we really don't need to take this one out see we haven't installed it back yet so for the inner fender you don't need to take this one out but you do need to take this one out okay hope uh, you liked it it helps and share and subscribe would help us too